One of the things that that's always interesting at schools that that self determine themselves is they often uh, create uh, jargon words or words that are um, unique to your community. Um, like your your stop rule is something that that you know may seem obvious to some, but stop should mean stop. Um, but what are, are are there any other ones that that other people might not be familiar with, might not understand, like code words? Yeah. Um, so generally for check in time, sometimes we would pronounce it chicken time. So anytime you want to say it's check in time, instead you would just walk around going. Pah, yeah, like pah, the alarm. Pah, pah. Pah. Yeah, you kind of just turn into a chicken. Ah, very and then good. younger kids, they like to like, who's going to lay the first egg? And then they like play. Whoever games. gets to the area first lays the first egg. Yeah, yeah something like that. Uh, and then you heard, you heard my phone going off a couple of times. That was for what? Oh, and then we have gongs. They are like. There's two gongs at the end of the day. I think that's probably sorry. Continue. I forgot what. Yeah, it's the first like, gong. First gong is like f try to finish up what you're doing, and then second gong is um, start packing. Your start stuff. packing your stuff. It's time to get ready to go. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So we actually have an old ship spell that people can oh, ring. Yeah. Shine. Yeah. Lock your stuff inside. An old nice. cast bronze ship spell from I don't know how many hundred years ago. Yeah, we also have red the stickers. Thing here in Riverstone. Yeah. Well, the red, red stickers, stickers aren't that much these days. No. Yeah. Kind of faded. Well, people have learned what, what not to do and not. Like, every time I, I see something interested, I'm like, nothing here. So a red sticker yeah. means um, this needs to go through the access committee before you can oh. use it. Do you want to just quickly explain oh, the access committee? Uh, gen generally, you would explain to someone, okay, do you know what to do, what not to do? Are you are you confident? Well, no. They'll ask everyone else. Do you think that that this person will is capable of doing this with something? So, like, getting certified. Actually, no. Would you consider yeah. certified? Yeah, getting certified for it. No. Yeah, getting yeah. certified for something. Like, Angelo here is certified for most things. Uh, I think yeah. Well, well, do you want to talk about being certified for sharp knives? Even inside that's one means for you. that you basically yeah, that, certified. Yeah. It's not really certified for shop knives, it's just certified for shop objects in general. Mm -hmm. I had to because I had to use scalpels to um, dissect things. And mm -hmm. they'll ask you questions like, do you know not to cut towards you, that you should always cut away? Um, do you know to put a cap on it, to clean it afterwards? Uh, to dry it properly after you clean it so it doesn't rust? Things like that. Yeah, so that would mm -hmm. that would have a red sticker on traditionally, but yeah. yeah, as you say, we've kind of learned now what we need to be careful of. Yeah. Okay, so certification is is your process of dealing with things that may be hazardous or things like that. That. Yeah. 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 So that's also how our access committee gives you access to things. Oh, I. Uh, that's, that's where it kind of also became our problem solving thing because ultimately we have once or twice in our history taken away access to the community um as in you know we you you right now you know can't really be trusted to be on your own in the community without supervision i don't know you guys might not remember this but do you remember there was somebody at yeah the, i do yeah wait sorry what we couldn't the, the cupboard rule what oh it was not the cupboard rule okay the, the somebody who got a belt a, a, quite a young boy who had a habit of dropping his pants at people. Mm. <laughs> so he had to go under staff supervision for a day and then he got a belt that would help him with his impulse control. Um, mm. But then, you know, the being under staff supervision, you know, took away his access to people unsupervised. And then, you know, we handed him from staff to staff and we did stuff like, like going and doing some it. weeding so we could chat, you know and give him mm -hmm, a chance to mm -hmm. chat and see where's this coming from and how can we solve it and you know we just generally have a problem solving approach mm -hmm, um, but mm -hmm. that's where the access committee ends up working for both you yeah know, giving access and saying okay access maybe needs to be adjusted yeah but again that's that's how it happened very rarely yeah we've used it that the way covered. The cupboard. We want to talk about the cupboard. Leave the cupboard in the closet. Leave yeah. the cupboard. Um, like some things that you have to be certified for are like being in the art room alone or using the sewing machine because we have like a sewing room and all that. Um, and me and Kate are like two of the only children who are certified for the sewing machine. And mm. no, we're not certified to supervise. No, no we are. 
in the sewing room. Although it's hands, more like their land. For hands. Oh, for yeah. hand sewing, yeah. For hand sewing, we can supervise. Uh. But supervising lays on the staff member Charlotte. Mm. So it's not that you can't do the thing if you're not certified. It's just that you need a supervisor until you're ready to do it on your own and then you need to get certified. Yeah. I see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's basically just for things that are expensive and can get broken like the sewing machine. And or things can hurt you. Or that can hurt you badly because we don't mind if you get a bit hurt. That's just learning. And that's we give right. you a plaster. But we don't want any trips to the emergency ward. Right. right. <laughs> This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host. Don Berg.